In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the probeware um, and the lab pro that is uh, used to collect data and analyze data with the computer. So we have a whole bunch of different uh, probes that measure different things. In this video, I'm going to specifically show you the motion sensor probe, but also how to hook up this equipment that it's needed for all of uh, the probes in order for them to interface with the computer. So it's a lab pro. It's made by a company called Vernier. And you have a program on your computer. And if you don't, you can download it from KBox. It's called Logger Pro. And Logger Pro is the software that runs um, and interfaces with any single one of our probes. Now, you may have used a handheld lab quest in chemistry class, um, and they're nice for getting data, but really the lab pro interfacing with the computer it makes it a lot more versatile and easier to analyze data and analyze graphs and then export those graphs and use them later in lab reports or whatever so i'm going to show you how to first use uh, the lab pro so the lab pros can be battery powered but we don't have batteries for them so you need a a, a power cord and these should be in the box where you get the uh, lab pros and um, they plug into the side uh, right here and when you do plug them in they should make a beeping noise showing you that they're connected so I'm gonna plug this one in and these are a little bit old so sometimes that if there's anything if they're not working typically it's this is it has an issue so let's listen for the beep let's see if we get it to turn on Okay, so there you hear that and you know that the Lab Pro is getting power. If you don't hear that, um, or if it does it a lot, that means this connection is messed up. So you can either get a different power cord or just grab a different Lab Pro. Now we also need to connect the Lab Pro then to the computer. So in order to do that, you need another cable and these should be in the box also with the Lab Pros. And they have this on one end and they have a USB on the other. The USB I already have hooked into the computer. This end plugs into the side where you see the little USB symbol. So we'll plug that in. And what happens when you open the software on the computer is you can kind of see it. There's a little bit of a glare. But essentially what you have here is just a generic graph. It has an X and a Y axis. It has a, a table over here for a data set. But it doesn't have any other specific information. However, when I plug in my probe, it will change and it will respond to the type of probe that you plug in. So the first one I'm going to show you is the motion detector. So this is a motion detector and this right here, this screen, what it does is it generates a, a sound. So it will echolocate something that's in front of it and measure the distance and then plot that as a position versus time or also we can see a velocity versus time. So um, in order to conduct the experiment, we need to uh, put whatever's moving right in front of this uh, speaker looking thing. And in order to do that, it opens up like this. So if you need to set it on the table or you need to give it some height, you know, it's a little bit adjustable so you can set it up for whatever works for your experiment. Now you'll notice also on the inside there is an adjustment here based on what we're going to be measuring the motion of. So we could be walking in front of the sensor, dropping a ball or throwing a ball in front of the sensor and you would use that adjustment. Um, if you're using the cars with the tracks, the Pasco cars, um, you may have watched the video on how to use that. Um, we would adjust to that setting. All right. So simply, there's only one thing to do with this, is just to plug it in. So we'll take one side, and these cables should be in the container with the sensor. So the sensor should have, whatever kind of sensor you're using, should have cables that will hook from here up to your Lab Pro. So, and they only fit one uh, of these inputs. On the Lab Pro, you'll see there's a bunch of channels here, and then on this side, you've got a couple other inputs. Well, your cable will only fit in one type of input, so you never have to worry about plugging it into the wrong thing. And so you plug it in over here, and once I do that, immediately what will happen is the computer will adjust, and you can see that quick, it has adjusted to the type of sensor that I have. So I'm going to bring the iPad a little bit closer, you can see, you actually can see what is on the screen. So on the screen here, you can see you have a data set, and now we have something down here that says position. That will list your position whenever the sensor is taking data. And then we also have two graphs, a position versus time graph here, and down here, a velocity versus time graph. 
Now up at the top, there's lots of different options here and you can play around with them based on, you know, what kind of data collecting you're doing. You can, you can, there's some analysis tools up here and we'll play around with those just depending on the lab. But what's important here to see is this green collect button. So I'm going to move the iPad back and I'm going to demonstrate to you what happens. So when I hit the collect button, there'll be a, a brief delay, but then the sensor will start to collect data. And for the motion sensor, you're going to start to hear like a ticking noise. And uh, that is the echolocation happening and it will plot the data for a specific period of time. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit the collect and then we'll hear the ticking noise. All right, and then I can just move my hand towards our wave. From it. Once it stopped, it has been done collecting data. And then we can go ahead and look at the graph and you can see that this is my hand moving in front of the motion sensor. And then this is plotting the velocity um, in front of the motion sensor. So now what we can do then is we can uh, analyze this data and there's lots of different tools here. So that's how you hook up the motion sensor as well as the lab quest to the computer.